So welcome to Henry Hardware. My name is Brian. We're going to talk to you about the Red Dragon Propane Torch Kit today. Um, the kit comes with everything you need to hook to a um, propane tank and connect all your pieces together. So once you get these out of the box, you've got the propane fitting here that's going to go on the, the back end of this hose here. And then we've got the control valve, which will control how much propane and how big a flame you have. And that will connect here and then to the torch itself. Okay, so putting these together, we always want to either hit, hit it with some pipe dope, which is included, or you can get the uh, gas tape and tape the threads in between every connection, okay? Except for the connection to your propane tank, which is a flare fitting, so it doesn't need any uh, threading, okay? Or thread tape. All right, so first off, we're gonna connect the propane fitting to here. We're gonna use, I like to use tape instead of dope, um, but it's, it come, the dope comes with it, so if you want to just use that, that's fine. Uh, just put one round of tape on here, pull it off, make sure it's nice and in the threads. And then we're going to connect that piece to here. This one's a little tougher because you can't, there's nothing to grab a hold of here to tighten down on this, but a good hand tight is it'd be plenty with the taper dope. Okay. Next, we're going to connect the valve to the hose. And with this, I can get a wrench on it and at least tighten it down a little bit farther than hand tightening it. Okay. And then we're gonna connect the valve to the torch itself. So we're ready to connect to our propane tank. Um, you can use anywhere from a 10 pound up to a 40 pound tank, depending on what you have or what you want. Uh, obviously the 10 pounder is gonna be easier to, to carry around with you while you're doing this. Um, but if you got a lot to do, a 20 pound tank is probably a better bet. That way you're not running out of gas, okay? Um, always a good idea when you're burning weeds is to have a fire extinguisher or a garden hose handy nearby just in case things get out of control and you need to put out a fire, okay? Usually when you're burning weeds, we're not going to be burning them all the way to the ground. Um, you just really want to hit the, hit the weeds with, a, with the hotness and it wilts them and will destroy them. It'll take a couple of days usually for them to completely disappear. Okay, once all your connections are done, we're gonna connect to the tank, which is very simple, just like hooking up your barbecue. Just gonna connect straight into there. Wouldn't be a bad idea to hit it with a wrench. Just make sure you're tight. Once you're tight, you're ready to go. All you gotta do, turn your gas on, open up the valve, the gas will be burning, and we'll be sparking to light. Okay, we're ready to burn some weeds. So first we're gonna turn our tank on, just a quarter turn is all it needs. 
Then you're gonna adjust your valve switch to the on and you should hear propane hissing out. Light. Now you can get, you wanna get your flame so that there's hardly any yellow showing and then you just hit your weeds and you don't need to, you only need to wilt them. You don't need to burn them to the ground. After you've done all your weed burning, you wanna make sure that you're storing this properly, which means making sure that this is closed off. Your tank is completely closed off. You unhook your torch from the tank and store separately, just in case you don't wanna leave these things connected, possible leaks or somebody getting their hands on it that you don't want them to. Okay, so we're disconnecting and just store store properly, all right? So thanks for watching today. Come on in to any of your local Henry Hardware uh, stores and we will make sure they'll get you taken care of with everything that you need and any help you want. Or you can shop with us online at henryhardware.com. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.